This is my EDC video part two. I know what you're thinking. Deja vu. I got gear. What's days up, guys? And a uh, long time viewer wanted to see me do an EDC video, so I figured I would oblige. He's asked for it many, many times, and I told him I would do it, and I never did it, so I kind of lied. He asked for it again today, so figured I would do it. I felt bad. Plus, everybody else is doing them today for some reason, so it's kind of fitting. Before I jump into the EDC video, I want to give a couple shout outs to two channels that I really enjoy. Um, I'm going to put both in the description down below, but I guess I'll just say them. Uh, Piao Liang, I think that's how you pronounce it. If I did it wrong, let me know. Please let me know. Uh, he doesn't have many subscribers at all compared to a lot of people, but he deserves them. He gets some of the highest end knives that you're ever going to see on YouTube. and He makes videos pretty often uh, and he shows off his high end stuff. And he's just a good reviewer. He does nice solid reviews. It's not the same old kind of uh, mundane crap we hear all the time. He's just a cool dude and uh, he's got a wicked edge. He does some sharpening videos and a lot of reviews on a lot of high end knives. He gets Henders, Chris Rees, a lot of customs. He has a Burnley uh, quaking that I really want. By the way, dude, if you're seeing this, I want that knife bad. If I have something you want, let me know. <laughs> but uh, go sub to him. You probably won't regret it. I don't see why you would regret it. It's just a subscription. It's not a life decision. Um, second is Caffeine Junkie. He just makes entertaining videos. I don't know why. I'm just really entertained by them. So go check them out. Uh, I'm going to put Caffeine Junkie and Piao Liang in the description. Again, if I'm butchering your name, please let me know. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I'll just jump right into the EDC. It's changed a little bit, I think, since the last time I did one of these. So I guess I'll just go ahead and get started. Something I have on me every single day is my iPhone. Um, just regular iPhone 4 with a Magpul case on it. Really good case. Uh, yeah, that is me kissing my wife in the background. I know that's corny, but whatever. I like the picture. Uh, great phone. Really great phone. I uh, was introduced with Mac products via my phone, and compared to all other smartphones, iPhones are just really intuitive to use. I mean, everything is, is really self-explanatory and fun to use and that's kind of exactly how I feel about the Mac that I just got sitting right here um, everything is really intuitive and it's just fun to use I absolutely abhor editing videos normally since I got this Mac and I get to play with iMovie I love it I've like fallen in love with editing videos for some reason so that's a testament to how user friendly a Mac is Anyway, not to get sidetracked, I have my iPhone, which goes everywhere with me. Uh, left front pocket for the past whew, month, month and a half, two months, I think, has been this uh, carbon fiber M390 M390 military. I have a Brad Southern TI backspacer back here, the small. Um, really, really excellent knife. It weighs just over four ounces, I think, four and four and a quarter I think so that's a huge knife for only four and a quarter ounces you have sweet peel ply carbon fiber and you have M390 which is a winning combination I love this knife absolutely love it so that goes in my left front pocket every single day what goes in my right front pocket every single day is a Hinderer XM18 this is my Gen 3 I have one Gen 3 and two Gen 4's um, just a really good knife Spanto flipper in 20 CV which is my favorite steel which is pretty much chemically equivalent to M390 so I have this in 20 CV in my right front pocket really love this knife uh, from the very first day I got a hinderer which this was my first one it hasn't left my pocket it's been in my pocket every single day for that was even before my wedding 
<clears throat> so since before March, uh, I actually think February was when I got that, if I remember correctly. I have no clue. Anyway, um, so that goes wherever with I don't know. I don't I don't have any special place. I put that left front pocket, right front pocket, um, back pocket, quark, one two three, uh, single cell. This is the S2 version, so it has a tighter beam, a little bit higher output. Uh, this was a limited run, kind of like a sprint run in the flashlight world. Um, really good light, really, really good light. Super high output with pretty good run time. So I really dig that light. Um, also in my right front pocket is my wallet, which is just kind of a slip wallet. It's coach. I have another coach slip wallet and a coach bifold. These are really, really nice. Um, they're expensive though. They do make really good stuff, but it is incredibly expensive for what it is. So, really the only reason I got this was because it was a slip wallet. It's exactly what I wanted. I don't like wallets in my back pocket. Uh, I just like really slim things that I can slip down in my front pocket. So this sits in my right front pocket, really slim, holds all my cards, my necessary uh, documentation, and it's it's compact. That's what I love about it most. Uh, cash goes in here, um, other stuff goes in here, pistol permit and all that kind of stuff. So that goes in my right front pocket as well. Uh, since it's summer, my main carry weapon is... The Ruger LCP. Um, hmm. Ruger LCP, really light. Uh, even when it's fully loaded, it's still pretty light. But the main reason I like it is because, again, I can slip it in my front pocket. This front it, <laughs> my front pocket. This is a pocket sheath. You slip it down in your pocket, and this little traction groove right here grips your pocket so when you pull the, the pistol the, the sheath stays in your pocket and the pistol comes out um, really really nice gun I have it loaded with uh, Winchester God, I can't remember SXT's or I can't remember um, God I'm drawing a blank anyway I did have Hydroshocks in here, but then I put the uh, Winchester, uh, God, I can't remember, PDX-1, that's what they are, PDX-1, and I don't even think they're Winchesters, I can't remember, drawing a blank, anyway, self-defense load, 380, the pistol is really accurate for what it is, it's more accurate than you are, let's put it that way, um, it's a tack driver out to 7 yards, 7 yards doesn't seem like a lot, but that's where like 99.9% .9 of uh, handgun altercations happen with seven yards or under. Uh, so this isn't really a long distance gun. It's just kind of a get your ass out of the situation gun. It'll work perfectly for that. And it is accurate. I mean, you can shoot it accurately out to 20, 25 yards. And when I mean accurate, I'm talking about dinner plate size groups. It's not going to be... It's not going to be a tack driver with a two inch barrel, but it is pretty accurate. The sights are not the greatest, so I put a little dot of white paint on the front sight, and that will just let you acquire your, your target just a little bit quicker. And really, when you are uh, when you're practicing combat shooting, you're really not paying attention to the rear sight. You're just coming up and putting your front sight on the target and pulling the trigger and you can just kind of learn to shoot via muscle memory. A lot of people don't know this. I was into guns way before I was into knives. I started shooting when I was about nine years old. Um, really proficient with handguns. Not as proficient with rifles. I don't do a lot of long range shooting but uh, I could shoot a handgun better than just about everybody I've ever met. So one of my many, not many talents, <laughs> one of my talents that uh, people don't know about. Next up on the line is sunglasses since it is summer. 
I wear a K9 Burnett. Yeah, Burnett. If you wear a Costa Del Mars or Maui Gems or something like that and you think your lens is clear, try on a pair of K9 sunglasses. Uh, they're Italian made and they have a new kind of lens technology they call SR91. Um, it is unbelievably clear. The polarized sunglasses you have to really see it to believe it, how clear these things are. I mean, it's not like you can see it, plus they're dirty from the pool. But uh, a lot of people think Maui Gems and, and Costa Del Mars are really, really clear. And they are, but they're, whatever they do to their lenses, their optical quality is incredible. So if you want to try out some nice sunglasses, get you a pair of Canons. They are pretty pricey, but... They're worth it. They're really well made, and that's how you say the name. Canon SR91. All right, moving on. Uh, I carry a little Maxpedition EDC organizer with me most places. Sometimes I'll leave it in the car. Sometimes I'll have it with me. But I always have either one of these pens on me. They're both Hinderer pens. This is a stainless steel investigator. This is a blue aluminum uh, extreme duty both are screw cap with fine point Fisher space pin uh, cartridges in them really nice little pins just really classy and uh, unique something that not everybody has um, what goes along with these two or either one of these in the EDC organizer is this it goes everywhere with me it's just a Benchmade uh, knife adjustment tool. It has Torx drivers on there, T6, T7, T8, T10. Then you have the uh, hex wrenches it will fit, Sabenzas and all that other strider, all that kind of stuff. That goes everywhere with me also. Last but not least, uh, I carry my Chris Reeve large Sabenza with me everywhere I go um, literally everywhere I go this thing is either clipped to my left side back pocket or it's in this slip pouch in my left front pocket um, the pouch is like molded to the knife you can see that it retains the shape of the knife even when it's pulled out it's uh, wearing in it's starting to look really nice but the Sabenza goes everywhere with me no matter what I have in my right and left front pockets this goes literally everywhere with me I uh, will probably never leave the house without a Sabenza so anyway that is my EDC for lately um, it changes pretty often but the the essentials stay the same the pistol changes with the seasons when it gets cooler and I can wear uh, heavier clothing I will go to uh, a Glock 26, maybe even a Glock 23, um, depending on clothing. Anyway, uh, if anything drastic changes like the, the knives or the, the phone or anything, I'll make an update video, but I like doing EDC videos, just not really often because not a whole lot changes all that often. I mean, little things might change, like the pen or the flashlight, but it doesn't change fundamentally all that often. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Chris Hornsby, <laughs> I hope this satisfies your EDC needs. Uh, if it doesn't, let me know, and I'll make another one. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.